So this is a section where we're going to talk about hand positioning, hold the guitar, etc. Um, what uh, in the book I call physiology, and uh, it's it's actually very important. Um, you notice what I'm doing here. Uh, this is what am I calling this? This is the two on the floor method. Okay, you notice I got my my legs squarely on the ground, uh, more or less evenly spaced apart. Um, it's good to have something to sit on that's more that lets your thighs be more or less level. All right, that way your guitar is going to sit comfortably. Uh, if you're too tall, right, the guitar is going to be sliding off. Um, and if you're too low, it's going to be uncomfortable. Um, and often, what I do with uh, you know younger kids that I'm teaching, because they tend to have short legs that so are kind of like this, is you get a footrest, and again, a footrest is going to raise your leg up. So, you know, maybe you're a shorter person. Uh, maybe you're a girl or a woman, who knows? But if your leg is not coming up high enough to be level, you need to get something underneath. Uh, either you, know, you can buy a footrest at a music shop or just use a, a big book like a dictionary or something. But that is very important to get your legs more or less level so that your guitar, you can see it's just sitting here. It's not going to fall off. It's very comfortable. Um, let me see here. The other way you can play sitting down is what I call kicking back. Um, and that would be a, with a, I'm sitting on a stool, so that would be if you're in a chair with a back and uh, you can cross your legs and kind of lean back. Um, this is another nice way to play. Again, you, you're getting your guitar nice and up uh, with your leg being crossed. Um, it's not going to be very comfortable if you're sitting in a stool, obviously. Uh, and then standing up is the other way to play. I don't even have a strap on right now, but uh, you know, standing up, what really is going to get you. Uh, makes it harder to play when you're standing up is uh, when you're sitting down you can see your guitar is it's pretty high up on the body here so it's very easy to get underneath and have a comfortable angle with your hand okay now normally if, like if I stand up and I have the guitar in the same place right this is where your guitar is do you ever see videos with people with their guitars here no because it's just not cool <laughs> unfortunately is what it comes down to uh, rock and rolls and entertainment business You'll see some fusion guys and stuff playing with their guitars up here because really this is where it's comfortable to play. Uh, but most guys are going to have it more down here, uh, and you see the you know, you know like maybe the Green Day guys or Slash or somebody's going to have it way down here. Uh, that's just what looks cool. Uh, speaking of Slash, you'll notice a lot of the time what he'll do is he play down here, and then he goes to take his solo. All of a sudden he's got his foot up on the monitor. That's bringing the guitar up again for him so he can play comfortably while having that slung down here. Um, so this, you know, playing standing up is really only going to come into effect if you're playing live. If you're just a, a musician, you're practicing at home, you're probably not going to have to stand up too much, so don't worry about it. Um, but if you are planning on performing, then you better practice playing standing up, either rehearsing with your band or also at home, because it takes a little while to get comfortable with where you want that strap to put the guitar and reaching underneath. Um, Let's see here. Okay, yeah, holding the guitar. Um, you can see I got the guitar across the right thigh here. Generally, steel string acoustic electrics, this is the way you're going to play. Um, some people can you will play classical style, which is where you cradle the guitar between your legs. Um, that's fine too. Again, uh, for that case, you might want to get a footrest for the left leg to lift this up. Uh, you know, I play classical guitar like this with a footrest, um, but otherwise I play guitar like this. I'm not going to tell you which one is the right way to do it, but for me, it's more comfortable like this. You can notice that the guitar um, is, is going out for me at a pretty extreme angle. Um, beginners have a tendency to pull the guitar in like this uh, because they want to see the fretboard. But what this does is this creates a terrible angle on your left hand and your left wrist. Um, you want to be able to play with your fingertips coming around like this, um, and this part of your hand more or less in line with the bottom of the neck here. So bringing this back like this makes it really uncomfortable. All right. So just remember, um, your guitar more or less, if you rest on your your thigh, is more or less going to naturally want to go here. All right. And then what I say usually for your left hand, just let your left hand hang, your left arm hang, bring your hand up, and you can see it more or less naturally is going to go there. You don't want to ever have any tension in your body when you're playing any kind of instrument. 
Uh, it's just going to translate into not sounding good. All right, so just let your arm hang, bring it up, boom, you're in position. This part of the body uh, is leaning back again, so I can let go of the guitar. It's not going anywhere. Uh, if you have a guitar and you do this and it's going like this or like this, it won't balance. That's a sign you got a pretty bad quality instrument. Um, you want to have an instrument where the neck and the body are balanced. They, they purposely match the weight on these so that they'll stay level. Otherwise, you're going to spend your whole time lifting up your neck or whatever while you're playing, and that's going to create tension. All right, let's talk about the right hand. So right hand holding the pick. Again, everything I'm doing here is based on being relaxed. So if you relax your hand, hold your hand like you're holding an ice cream cone or a microphone or something, you can notice that my thumb naturally relaxes and rests on top of my finger here. All right, so that should be more or less your natural hand position. Slide the pick in there and you're good to go. That's pretty much how I recommend holding a pick. You'll notice that the uh, thumb is more or less perpendicular to the point of the, of the pick here, whereas the first finger is going more or less in the direction of the point um, and I like to hold the pick very close to the tip. Now you can see that you know these are almost at the same area. Just the pick is just down far enough where my finger's not hitting the string. Um, but I like to be very close on the end of the pick to get a lot of control over it. Um, that's going to be a personal preference. You're going to have to decide what feels good for you. What I strongly don't recommend uh, is either holding the pick with two fingers or with the middle finger. Um, that I just don't think is a good way to do it. Uh, this for me seems to be the best way to pick. Um, but you know, that's every individual likes to do things the way they do. So you know, if you have to go like this, I guess you have to. So and then you also find too, if you hold the pick softly, it will work as a volume control. As I hold the pick firmer, my volume comes up, release pressure, it gets softer. Uh, and then as far as your hands, this is illustrated in the book. But just a basic rule, here's your fingers. Left hand, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Um, that's your basic fingering rules. All right, so there's your physiology section.